Okay, welcome to Mossy Head Bait Company. It is the 11th of October, 2019, and we're in Gill's Kitchen again, and today we are going to be talking about blue crabs for bait. And for all you um, uh, guys out there that fish for cobia, fish for sheephead, black drum, redfish, we all know that um, blue crabs are really good bait. And uh, what's going to be super different about this, uh, of what I'm presenting today, is that not many people uh, think of blue crabs as a really good bait for sheephead, but they are. Uh, most people, if they're talking crabs for sheephead, they're talking fiddler crabs or the little uh, mangrove crabs uh, you see running around, you know, in the tree limbs and stuff like that. They're very good bait for sheephead, but you can't always get them. And blue crabs uh, are quite available most of the year round. If you can't catch them yourself, you know, you can go to the uh, fish market and buy some. Buy some fresh blue crabs. Really good bait. All right. So what's different about what Mossy Head Bait Company does in a rat fishing system versus um, other fishermen and what they do in using crabs for bait? But first, let's just go ahead. I'm going to do a real quick demo of a... I caught these blue crabs yesterday. Had them on ice. So turn them over and you uh, start right here. You just basically... It's like a little tab. You pull that tab up. Make sure the crab is incapacitated when you're doing this uh, or you might uh, be in for a really uh, uh, unpleasant surprise. Uh, blue crabs are uh, very powerful uh, pinchers. Okay, so anyway, you use your thumb, you just bring it and you come right there. You, you got to really kind of put some pressure to pull that top hull off because that's what we're doing. You got to kind of get, get that in there and, and it'll crack just like that. Okay, and you break it open. All right, so you got two parts now. Now, what most guys do uh, that fish for, let's say, black drum or redfish, uh, what they do now is they basically pull all the claws off. They cut this in half. They wind up with something like this. And then uh, they'll put, uh, this will make two baits. They'll crack it in half. And uh, they'll put that on a hook. And then put that on a hook. And it's pretty good bait, but that's a, that's a big bait for a sheephead, okay? It's not for a big black drum or a redfish, but uh, the problem a lot of times with putting it on the hook like this is that the pinfish and all the little little other little fish out there, they'll run up and they'll peck all the meat out. And basically, uh, you leave it out there a little while and all you got left is just the shell and all the meat's gone. But here's the, well, what I want to tell you all today is what's real different about uh, what we do with the, with the blue crabs at the Moss Head Bait Company is that, uh, believe it or not, when you do a crab like this and use the bait, it's good bait, but you're actually throwing the best bait away. And the best bait in a crab is the innards. It's this part right here. And we're going to use this for bait in the, in, with the rat fishing system. We're going to combine this with this. You're going to come up with a really killer bait. So once you pull the shell off, take a spoon, and you want to get back in these crevices here, like this. Pull out all them goodies, okay? I've already got some in the bowl here. And basically, the face of the crab right here, you mash down, it breaks, breaks right off. And then, uh, the stuff comes out pretty good. And that's, that is really good bait. I mean, that's the essence of the crab. It puts out a tremendous amount of uh, odor in the water. An injured crab, that's what the fish is going to be smelling. So that's the good bait, but just try and keep that on the hook. Okay, continuing with disassembling the crab for sheephead bait. Uh, this is a blue crab, um, and we're just working on the claws and the legs now. We're going to use these as bait. Um, when you take the, uh, take the legs off, a pair of scissors comes in really handy. And really, it's this first joint that comes off the crab that has uh, the meat in it. So what I do is I just clip that off and discard that. Now, the flippers, if it's a larger crab, that this joint right here, you can see when I pull that off the crab, it's got meat there. And it's got a little meat here, but not very much down here. So what I'll do is I'll clip that off right there. Now with the claws, 
Not too many people ever consider using the claws for bait, but they are, they're very good bait. What you do is, is the movable part of the claw, this is what you want to snap off. And by doing that, you take a little bit of meat with it, but you expose this end right here, okay? So what I do now is I break it right here, and this really becomes two separate baits. So that'll go down in a wrap like that, and you can see the meat here exposed for scent. And then, of course, you got this part of the crab. You got this end exposed also. That's all bait right there. Okay, I got everything prepped up here. I've got all the claws and the forearms all cut up over here. That's going to be separate bait for the wrap. I've got the body uh, of the crab, which contains most of the meat of the crab here. And this is the pretty much the only waste that I have, but that's actually not going to be waste either because I'm going to use that as chum. There's not much meat in there, but it does have some scent, so I'll chum with that. So you're using the whole crab, but... In this system of, of the rat fishing system, using blue crabs for bait, the huge advantage here is, is that you're using the entrails of the crab, which contains most of the odor. Now, I'm only going to use the body of the crab, okay, to mix with the guts of the crab, because it has all these little crevices and everything. See, if I mix this with it, it'll just slide off the shell. So, but with this one, it's more, it's going to get caught in these little crevices and everything that's in the crab. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And then I'm going to take this and mix it up really good with the entrails of the crab. And I mean, I'm really going to work that. I'm really going to work it because I want to uh, get all that really good odor. Um, all saturated out through uh, the crab meat. So I'm just going to keep working it, working it, working it. And then this is going to go uh, in the wraps, okay, by using the bait loading tube. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm the arms uh, of the crab. I'm now taking and cutting these up into bits because there's quite a bit of meat and odor inside the shell, but I'm cutting it up into bits so it will fit much more easily uh, in the bait loading tube and then down into the wrap. So I cut these up. And then I put the bits into the tube, about how many I want. A nice chunk of crab meat right there. And I poke it down. Pull the tube out. There we go. Nice uh, thing of crab, you know. So I'm going to wind up with about 40 or 45 baits. I think I had uh, six, I would say, crabs that are normally a little bit too small to eat um, that you would buy in a, in a market. But you can see with a little bit of effort in the ramp fishing system, you can make really good sheephead bait, okay, out of blue crab or any other large crab. It doesn't have to be blue crab, okay? And I'm going to put it in there. Don't take a lot. Just put a little bit. And then I want to mix those guts in really good with that crab. So I'm almost like doing a mashed potato thing here, you know? Uh, I want to get the, them guts uh, all in the crevices and everything of that crab. So you're putting a huge amount of scent uh, in that crab now. Uh, got all them guts in there. And, that, and that's a really good bait right there. So 
put your tube in, pinch, slides on, and then you take your bits of crab and you slip them in there. If the crab bits are a little bit too big, you know, cut them down. But for the most part, what I've cut there is going to work. And you, if you're fishing for sheephead, you only need about that much. That's all you need. It's just about what I just showed you. So a crab this size that you were fishing for um, redfish and black drum, that's just two baits. Uh, this right here will make about eight or maybe even nine baits for sheephead. So it goes a long way. Now once you get the crab in there, uh, any little, any object you can use just to poke it a little bit, okay? You draw it out a little bit, poke it a little bit more, draw it out, poke it, then you can, when you can, uh, just poke it on out into the wrap. All right. Now, once you got it in there, that is a good size sheephead bait right there. Now, for the if you want to use a lot of crab, make a really big bait. Well, we make big wraps. We make it all the way up to six inches if you want to present a really large wrap. But to demonstrate how good this looks, and remember, you've got them guts mixed in there with it. Uh, Take the hook here, and you just basically close the wrap with it. But then what I like to do is I like to twist that wrap. Twist that wrap until it just basically closes up around that really good. You see how that's closing up around it? And then what I do is I slip that hook up, and then I'm going to bring it back around and pierce it again, just like that. So that is a really good, now that, that right there is going to catch sheephead, it's going to catch black drum, it's going to catch redfish. And, and again, the economy of what you're doing, you're using a whole crab. And remember, this is what really throws the um, odor in the water, is the crab guts. Well, they were not a viable bait before because you just can't keep them on a hook. But now you cut your crabs up into a bits, you mix the guts with it, you use the bait loading tube, you put it in the wrap, and voila, you got a really good bait. I mean, that is a really good bait. Okay, I started out with six uh, medium to small size crabs, and I have wound up with 60 baits here. I've got 10 each in the bags, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and the big bait for the cobia or the big redfish or the big drum. So. I'm going to freeze these, and then uh, when uh, a little later on this year, it's uh, middle of October now, so into November, December, I'm going to use this bait, you know, for black drum, cobia, or if there's any cobia around, but uh, mainly sheephead, uh, black drum, and redfish. Uh, thank you for watching. It's the Mossy Head Bait Company, and this is how you take a blue crab and turn him into sheephead bait and bait for uh, many other uh, varieties of fish that eat. Uh, crabs. And remember you guys up in the Northeast in the Atlantic? Tog Tog, right? Blackfish. Work great for them.